Thankfully, nothing happened, but looking out my window every once in a while was very, very, very frightening because in the dark, all of a sudden you see a line of tracer going out and then there'd be an explosion. And you knew what that explosion was. Or all the true blue dark sky, there'd be a terrible explosion. You knew somebody got hit by flak. Somebody got caught in a surface. So these scenes were very depressing to me. But I had a job to do. As a wireless operator, I had to keep in constant communication with home base. I did not communicate with them. They kept sending out signals. They were sending out uh, changes in the weather pattern over the target. They maybe send out cloud conditions over the target. Plus, there was also the opportunity that there was a secondary target pointed out before we left. And so you had to be sure you listen to any signals coming from base, whether the initial target was the right one or the secondary target. So I had that job to do. So I, I closed my little window beside me, closed the curtain, and concentrated what I was doing. And so coming back, we had no problem. We landed and we were debriefed and we did our job. So now we're seasoned, we're seasoned uh, operational crew. We've done our first trip, we've survived. And so from then on, we kept doing our trip to number, uh, number nine. On number nine, we had, we had a collision with another aircraft just before we dropped our bombs. This other Halley was just below our left wing and he let his bombs go five seconds before we did. And of course, the sudden release of all that weight, you come off. And his starboard wing hit our port wing, chopped off, broke off about 10 feet of wingtip, hit the left, the port outer engine, caused it to catch fire. The pilot yelled to the flight engineer to apply the fire extinguisher to that motor. The pilot put the aircraft into a steep dive so that the combination of the wind from the steep dive and the application of the fire extinguisher put out that fire. But the whole aircraft just shook all the way back and the motor was windmilling backwards. So we got back without any serious problem, we landed with difficulty, and then we found out the other aircraft was somebody from our squadron. They had difficulty, but we made it back. And that was, went on till trip number 22. We had been bombing uh, uh, on the, the 5th, 6th, and 7th of June, 1944, the day before, the day of, and the day after the invasion. And so our target for the night of, the morning of June the 8th, 1944, was a railway yard just outside of Auchers, which is about 30 miles uh, west of Paris. And we thought, wow, piece of cake. Compared to what we'd done, we'd done all the big stuff.